toddler tells parents that somebody comes in his room every night. Mom gets petrified when she checks the baby monitor. Baby monitors are supposed to help parents and caregivers keep an eye on children, but one parent is sharing a scary story about her own experience with a baby monitor. Jay and Sarah are a normal couple from Washington who were shocked when they started to investigate theirs. Jay and Sarah were a normal couple with a small child. Like any other parent, they'd purchased a baby monitor to keep an eye and ear on their toddler. The three-year-old would be asleep in his room and they could keep an eye on him just as they intended, but something was going to go wrong. Everything seemed to be working fine with a baby monitor. In minutes, they could get a look at their child and see him sleeping peacefully. They liked the peace of the mind the monitor delivered, but then their son said something chilling. The toddler had to share a secret with his parents. Someone was coming into his room and talking to them. Jay and Sarah wondered what that could mean. Was the toddler really just having a dream and was mistaken, or was this something more sinister? The toddler clarified it for his parents and said someone was talking over the phone. Now that statement made Jay and Sarah's kin crawl. What could that mean? They didn't have a phone in their son's room, but then the situation got worse. The parents noticed something even more unsettling when Jay came in to check up on their son. In one instance, they heard a voice say, wake up, little boy, daddy's waiting for you. Hearing that phrase come from seemingly nowhere would make anyone upset. The situation became really unsettling when Sarah joined Jay in their son's room. Then, Jay heard a voice say, look, someone's coming or someone's coming into view. That phrase chilled them because it meant that not only was their child being spoken to, but somehow someone could see them all too. Like other baby monitors, the couple's model came with a night vision camera that could allow them to see their baby's movements. The problem was whoever was watching could also track their son's movement and anything else in front of the camera. The couple decided that something was clearly wrong with their baby monitor. They hurriedly contacted the manufacturer Foscom to see what was wrong. Folsom monitors have the ability to connect to the internet via a smartphone. It was clear the couple's baby monitor had been hacked and the hacker could even control the camera. This was a scary situation and was actually pretty common, they soon realized. The parents had learned a lesson and now had to make their story known. Jay and Sarah declined to give their last names but spoke to their local news station about their situation. A technology expert also warned other parents that it could happen to them but there was an easy fix. To prevent hacking into baby monitors, parents should choose a very strong password for it, experts say. Better yet, use a password that's different from your Wi-Fi password and never have your network unlocked. Jay and Sarah aren't alone, other parents are coming forward with their own experiences. One parent, Jamie Summit, told ABC News that hackers infiltrated her baby monitor to spy on her and her baby. Jamie had password protected her baby monitor, but hackers still got in. She first noticed it when she was breastfeeding her baby and she saw the camera pan over to where she was in her bedroom. The camera was now pointed right at her bed and she was terrified. Jamie realized she'd been hacked and quickly canceled the connection via the app, but it was too late because the images could have been downloaded by the hacker. She was understandably upset at the breach of her own privacy and called the police. Parents are thankful she came forward and shared her story.